YouTube scare cam videos. There sure are a lot of them, and there sure are a lot of people who either love or hate them. Despite their popularity, scare cam videos are often criticized for showing fake or exaggerated fear in the face of relatively benign or even downright terrible games. I don't know why people would want to fake being scared for a video on YouTube, but I do know that it's pretty easy to figure out if they are faking. We can feel this sort of thing naturally, but what is it exactly that bothers us? How can we tell that someone is faking an emotion? In this video, I'm going to examine the occurrence of real versus faked facial expressions of fear in YouTube Scarecam video thumbnails using the Facial Action Coding System, or FACS. The Facial Action Coding System was developed mainly by Dr. Paul Ekman, who has spent his career studying facial expressions of emotion across cultures. Ekman was also an advisor to the writers of the show Lie to Me, which convinced many people that they were good at telling when their family and friends were lying. In his work, Ekman found that several basic emotional expressions were constant across cultures around the world. In summary, there are some ways we express emotion that we may be born with, or at least that are expressed the same way by everyone, everywhere. Ekman developed facts to codify these basic emotions based on the movement of different facial muscles. The six basic emotions originally posited by Ekman were happiness, sadness, anger, fear, surprise, and disgust. Famously, the fearful face in this paper was modeled by Ekman himself. You can see from this image exactly how detailed fax coding is. Each muscle in the face has a label and a degree to which it can move. The image on the right is an excerpt from another Ekman paper comparing the facial emotional expressions across cultures. You can see that there are general rules for the prototypical expression of each emotion, although in this video we will be focusing on fear in particular. Fear is prototypically expressed by the raising and tensing of muscles beneath the eyes which means we can see the white above the eyes, but not below them. This is generally... There's actually no scream built into the fear reaction. The opening of the mouth is actually a surprised reaction. In a fearful face, the mouth is actually tensed or even frowning. But how do we know that these descriptions are actually correct in all cases? How did Ekman figure out all of this? The answer is a huge data collection. Basically, they got a bunch of faces and had tons of people categorize those faces into different emotions. With a large enough consensus, you can claim that a certain face is showing a certain emotion with high statistical probability. As such, emotion detection and modeling are entire fields of their own. In social science and related fields, individuals trained in facts are considered objective experimental sensors. There are a multitude of databases of emotional faces that, ca that have been categorized by these methods. So yes, we can in fact claim that everyone expresses these basic emotions in the same way. No, you are not a special snowflake. These expressions happen naturally and uncontrollably, even if the expression crosses your face for only the slightest moment before it is masked. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some scare cam thumbnails. I chose thumbnails because they often show the most scared a person is in the entire video, and because any video analysis ultimately boils down to a frame-by-frame -frame analysis. I've categorized these thumbnails based on what emotion these people appear to actually be showing versus what they intended to show. I'm assuming that all of them are intending to show fear first and foremost, although we, as we will see, it's also perfectly reasonable to assume that they may also show surprise or disgust. Then we'll take what we've learned from this analysis and determine the most effective way to fake being scared on the internet. These men are surprised. Their eyes are wide open and their eyebrows are raised. They also have their mouths open, which most YouTube scare cam thumbnails show, but mouth opening is actually indicative as surpri of surprise, not fear, as I mentioned earlier. Now, you might say these people are experiencing a mix of emotions, and that is certainly the case. However, let's talk about the way we react emotionally to stimuli, particularly scary stimuli. The most basic brain functions are activated first, and the reaction spreads up into the higher reasoning parts of our brains from there. This leads to the phenomena of micro-expressions, which, on video, ends up looking like a quickly changing sequence of emotional faces that we unconsciously express while our brains are processing a stimulus. Micro-expressions are extremely fast and difficult to see, but when we look at frames of video, they become apparent. Assuming these pictures are of individuals immediately after a scary stimulus, they should be expressing one clear emotion at a time, so these freeze frames which show only one clear emotion. Obviously, there is some noise involved, but the relative complication of these facial expressions is pretty damning evidence that they are conscious and therefore faked. These people are just sad. Sad that they have to play a bad video game. 
The guy on the right is a good example of an obvious exaggerated fake expression. It's clear he's doing it on purpose, but uh, you can see how he has widened his eyes and pouted his lip in an attempt to force his face into a fearful face. Instead, he ends up looking like he just dropped his ice cream. This man is disgusted. This is the only example I found of clear disgust in these thumbnails. He's yelling at the same time, but he's pretty clearly disgusted. Disgust is best identified by scrunching up your nose, but also frowning and narrowing one's eyes. I don't think he's trying to pretend to be scared, though. He just looks like someone took a shit on his keyboard. These guys were the most complex examples I've found. They don't really look scared, per se. In fact, they don't really look like one particular emotion at all. Instead, they look like a mix of surprise, fear, and disgust. In fact, I would argue that these faces are trying to show fear by instead mixing expressions of surprise and disgust. The prototypical eye whites are there above the irises, but these guys are also all looking at their computer screens, conveniently located below their webcams. They're screaming, maybe with a bit of frown thrown in, and a scrunched nose combined with the wide eyes creates something similar to yet different from the eyes of a fearful face. The guy in the middle in particular seems pretty close to our stereotypical fearful face, and he may in fact be legit, it's hard to tell. Certainly there must be some people who, even if only for the slightest moment, actually experience fear while playing these games. In this video, we've taken a look at fearful faces in YouTube thumbnails and examined their legitimacy based on facts emotional expression categorization. Our own attempts to mimic expressions that we normally make unconsciously often leads to emotional faces that don't look quite right, and we can see this in others. This intuition is what causes people to rail against YouTube's scare cam videos for being fake and pandering. Basically, these people are trying to look scared, but they're not doing a good enough job at it. Assuming that looking scared maps clearly to YouTube subscriber count, there's a lot of room for improvement here that could lead many people to even more internet fame and success. So now let's take what we've learned and apply it to your next scare cam video. It does seem that by consciously making a surprised face mixed with some features of a disgusted face, one can in fact mimic a fearful face pretty well, maybe enough to convince hundreds of subscribers! Again, this has just been an introduction to facts and emotion analysis, so if you're interested in learning more about this kind of stuff, I encourage you to go out and do more research on your own. Thanks for watching.